नमस्कार मित्रों अभिमन्यु आई इसमें आपका स्वागत है द इंस्टीट्यूट विच इज़ प्रोवाइडिंग रिजल्ट्स फ्रॉम द लास्ट 23 थ्री ईयर्स वेदर इट इज़ यू और स्टेट सिविल सर्विसेज एग्जाम अक्रॉस इंडिया वी हैव अ हिस्ट्री ऑफ प्रोड्यूसिंग रिजल्ट्स सिंस 1999 एंड वी हैव मोर देन 2200 रिजल्ट्स टिल टुडे एंड टू कंटिन्यू विद द सेम पाथ वी हैव स्टार्टेड अ सीरीज ऑन यूट्यूब विच इज़ कॉल्ड कंसेप्ट इन पॉलिटी here i come with those topics which have higher relevance for not only your exams point of view but to make you realize the importance of your constitution and its principles so i welcome again to all of you in this youtube series and today i have come on a topic which is somewhat related to the political science itself right do it is having very importance to understand the dicey questions which are coming in the prelims as well as in the mains these days and the topic is neo liberalism versus neo rightism right these are the two philosophies which have higher relevance in today's world so it is our responsibility to have a look on them in brief and before we start speaking something on this and discussing let me tell you that we are targeting in the abhimanyu is the next coming civil services exam in 2023 and 24 and we are providing groomings to the students for both prelims as well as for mains and this integrated coaching will be available in both the online and offline mode and those students who want to join it they get a description link in the they get a link in the description box and specifically i'll be teaching here the indian polity module where i'll be covering both the prelims as well as the mains syllabus and will ensure that you crack the exam so those who wants to become and those who wants to enrich their life by becoming the civil servant they may join this course and they can succeed in their life so now let's move on our topic which is neo liberalism versus neo rightism so here again we will go one by one and we'll be looking what the neo liberalism says and then we'll be looking what neo rightist says right so first neo liberalism is a philosophy which is considering mark which is consider which is considered as market fundamentalism ek aisi philosophy jo market ko sabse zyada preference de ek aisi philosophy जो मार्केट को ही सर्वोपरि माने राइट सो दिस इज द फिलोसफी विच प्रोवाइड्स द अपर हैंड टू द मार्केट एंड दैट इज व्हाई इट इज कॉल्ड मार्केट फंडामेंटलिज्म राइट सेकंड, रिवाइवल ऑफ क्लासिकल लिबरलिज्म विच फेवर्स लेज इज फेयर इकोनॉमी राइट सो दिस फिलोसफी कॉल्ड नियो लिबरलिज्म इट इज अ रिवाइवल ऑफ क्लासिकल लिबरलिज्म classical liberalism used to say that market is the only fundamental of our society which is enough to run the society there is no need of state and even though if state is there so that should do the work of night watchman right us state ka kaam sirf itna hona chahiye ki wo hame law and order de in the market there should not be any interference by the state and by its agencies so these were the ideas of classical liberalism and same the neo liberalism says because it also favors lazy sphere economy where no interference in the economy by the state and its agencies right third it proposes rolling back of state because after the age of classical liberalism came the age of that liberalism where the welfare state was introduced right बिकॉज क्लासिकल लिबरलिज्म को जो सोशलिस्ट थ्योरी है उन्होंने इतना क्रिटिसाइज किया कि दे रियली रिफॉर्म्ड देयर लिबरलिज्म एंड दे प्रोवाइडेड वेलफेयर स्टेट ऐसा स्टेट जो लोगों के वेलफेयर के लिए काम करेगा राइट बट आफ्टर सम पैसेज ऑफ टाइम वैन द फिलोसफर्स एंड वैन द कंट्रीज फाउंड कि वेलफेयर के नाम पर वी आर नॉट मेंटेनिंग द क्रिडेंशल्स ऑफ मार्केट एंड आर इकोनॉमी इज गेटिंग डिवास्टेटेड so then this idea of neo liberalism came and it says that roll back state we do not want state 
because in the name of welfareism we are unable to have our market run on better principles hamari market nahi chal pa rahi hai our market is not able to run smoothly so we should roll back the state we do not require state and it is a philosophy which favors rich and capitalist class this is uh, usual i mean ye sare principles is cheez ko darsha rahe hain ki the capitalist class or the rich or the elite class have most profound influence in this philosophy which is called neo liberalism right then its climax reached in the year 1995 with the establishment of wto which is nothing but world trade organization vishwa vyapar sanghathan right in the year 1995 wto was established and it was considered that yes neo liberalism as a philosophy has reached its climax which means the higher position it considers social justice by the state a tool to increase their power बिकॉज ए कंसिडर कि जब सोशल जस्टिस करने के लिए द स्टेट डिमांड्स टैक्स फ्रॉम द पीपल एंड वेन द टैक्स इज नॉट रीच टू द नीडी एंड गेट्स इन टू द पॉकेट ऑफ ब्यूरोक्रेसी एज वेल एज द पॉलिटिशियंस सो दैट इज वाई दे वर सेंग दैट प्लीज रोल बैक द स्टेट्स एंड दे हैव प्रॉब्लम विद द ब्यूरोक्रेसी बिकॉज दैट लीड्स टू करप्शन राइट द टैक्स विच दीज पीपल आर पेइंग दैट इज नॉट रीचिंग द करेक्ट एड्रेस that is not reaching the correct people right so therefore they prefer charity over social justice by the state they say that we do not want state we will not pay them tax we will only from ourselves will give charity right hum khud hi garibi ko mita denge corporate social responsibility can be considered as the biggest example of this charity principle right uh, instead of giving taxes to the government we are just coming ahead of our houses and we are the ourselves doing charity to uplift and to bring the social justice then it do not support progressive taxation which means that as your income rises the taxation or the tax levels will rise so they do not prefer that right they call it as a bondage labor which means that it is the hard work of the capitalist or the richest class when they are earning so much and for the name of taxation or for the name of social justice the government compels us to pay more taxes which they use for their own interest rather than for fulfilling the demands of the society so that was regarding the neo liberalism which i have just told you and now we are looking towards neo rightism right the word meaning the meaning of neo is new for your understanding neo ko new bhi kehte hain naya right so rightism is nothing but the conservatism the meaning of conservatism who have traditional beliefs who wants to be, who wants to live in the traditional ages who do not wants any kind of change and they fear from the revolution wo chote se change ko bhi revolution kehte hain right so conservatives are those who do not prefer change and the neo rightism or neo conservatism which we are going to deal let's look they are also called as neo conservatism which i have told neo rightism or neo conservatism are just the synonyms right they emphasize order discipline and authority in the society ye unka belief hota hai ki society mein order bhi rahe discipline bhi rahe authority bhi rahe family ki bhi state ki bhi right द ट्रेडिशनल तरीके से जैसे हमारी सोसाइटीज और हमारे स्टेट चले आ रहे हैं न्यू राइटिज्म और न्यू कंजर्वेटिविज्म एज अ फिलोसफी प्रेफर्स दैट इट आल्सो एम्स टू रीस्टोर द ट्रेडिशनल वैल्यूज एंड रीविटिलाइज नेशनलिज्म राइट दे से कि वी वांट द ट्रेडिशनल वैल्यूज हमारी वैल्यूज वेदर इट इज अ रिलीजियस वैल्यूज वेदर इट इज अ कल्चरल वैल्यूज वेदर इट इज अ ट्रेडिशनल वैल्यूज we want those values to be applied even in the present age right and they also revitalize the nationalism which means they are very much confident of applying nationalism to a very large extent even we can consider the example of bjp government they are also called as a neo rightist government right jo traditional beliefs mein vichar rakhte ho जो चाहते हो कि डिसिप्लिन रहे सोसाइटी में ऑर्डर रहे लॉ एंड ऑर्डर मेंटेन हो बट इनका कुछ और मानना भी है और अलोंग विद दिस कि हमारा राष्ट्रवाद भी बना रहे और नेशनलिज्म आल्सो बिकम्स सो मच हायर राइट दे आल्सो डिमांड्स फॉर टैक्स कट्स 
and greater censorship over the television and films. Why censorship? Because if television and films will show something in contrast to their the traditional beliefs or in contrast to their ancient beliefs, so that would be considered as a change. So they people do not want change and that is why they use censorship, right? Campaigns against immigration and in favor of repatriation, which means that they are the people who wants their people to come back to their countries, right? Rather than going outside the brain drain theory, right? So they are the people who wants that our people should be with us and they should not go outside for long time, right? So they should become the integral part. They should provide their services, their labor to this country, which is their motherland, right? Then it attempts to fuse the economic libertarianism with state and social authoritarianism. Iska simply matlab ye hai ki they want society to be traditional, but they want economy to be liberal, right? They believe that the government should only use its agencies, its power in the market, in the society to maintain law and order, not to do anything in the principles of market. Market apne aap chal sakti hai. The government should not come to provide market and to provide uh, anything regarding market, right? The market has the potential to run itself. So this was the principle of econ libertarianism. Libertarianism also says that our economy is should have full liberty by the state. The state should provide full liberty to the market because market is capable of running itself. And social authoritarianism, right? But they want society to be authoritarianism. Society mein jo traditional beliefs ki authority hai, that should not be minimized at any extent. Market apne hisab se chale. Society apne hisab se chale, right? We will not as a state interfere in the market, but we also want that our market do not hurts our societal interest, our society's authority, which relies on the traditional beliefs, on the traditional religious scriptures, so and so forth, right? They say that roll back interventionist government and liberal or permissive social values. ये भी कुछ रोल बैक करने की बातें कर रहे हैं और ये वो कौन से रोल बैक की ये कह रहे हैं कि द गवर्नमेंट व्हिच इज इंटरवेंशनिस्ट राइट व्हिच इज इंटरफेयरिंग इन द मार्केट प्रिंसिपल्स वी डू नॉट वांट दैट काइंड ऑफ गवर्नमेंट राइट दे आर वेरी मच लिबरल इन द मार्केट प्रिंसिपल बट दे आर वेरी मच आर्डेंट फॉलोअर ऑफ देयर ट्रेडिशन इन देयर सोशल वैल्यूज राइट दे फोकस ऑन मिनिमम गवर्नमेंट मैक्सिमम गवर्नेंस which is the slogan which our current BJP government also gives, which says minimum government and maximum governance because they want to provide market a free hand or a support in various forms like ease of doing business, maintaining law and order, easing the foreign direct investment and foreign portfolio investment. So these are the various mechanisms through which the neo rightist government maintain its philosophy of traditional beliefs in social values and libertarian beliefs in the market principles. So this was in these two, uh, you know, philosophy, which I have told you in this series of concepts in polity. So this much of today and we'll meet again on the next day on the next topic with the next mood. Thank you so much.